everyone, I'm Emily Anderson from Champlain Community Services, and I work with the Bridging Program, which is comprised of students from five area high schools, and they are learning about transitioning into adulthood. Today, I am here with a group that is in Community Connections, and as we always do, they make a TV show here at CCTV, and, um, and they're gonna tell you their name. Oh, wait. I don't remember their name. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Rex. Hag. Hag. Hagum. But that name was too complicated for people to remember. Our guests, the people that we went to meet, it was just too much of a mouthful. So the name evolved into. Hag. Hag. But then that also didn't really stick with the group. So they thought of another name. Athletic Five. And I, I thought, well, hmm, what about Brathletica? But everyone said, well, they said, that sounds like a breath mint, as if we were wearing our masks for too long. And then a magical being appeared. I had to go, I had to go, I'm in the sky. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, my, yes, my, yes, my, yes, my, yes, Oh, yes. I had to go, I had to go. What was the fox say? Are you an athlete with mass breath? Yes. You need Breathletica. Yes, Breathletica. Breathletica. But that's not how the group wanted to present themselves throughout the Chittenden County. So they came up with a new name. And they are all going to come and tell it to you. Yeah. Brackies! So you've met the Brackies. They just had an amazing art workshop with Topaz at Expressive Arts Vermont, and they are going to present to you some of the works of art they created in short interviews with each other. Hi, I'm Emily, and Hi. I'm with Keegan over here. Jeff. And we're going to talk about his art that he made with Topaz. So Keegan, okay. what, what can you tell me uh, about this art? So in this album is my it's a card called Shusha Pale. And and I'm gonna just two. Yeah. And, what about these two? What did you like about them? Uh, I don't like it. It's from uh I'm gonna get your things and I make art. Yeah. Uh, on a piece. You made an art piece. Yeah. And and then after 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 these. Yeah. And my choice mom. And, and she's and this little girl has a stroller, right? Yeah. And these and what else? Uh, so it is. And around. You want me to turn around? And so, um, I'll find this one. And this one goes. And this one mm -hmm. is Christmas E. It looks Christmassy? Yeah. Yeah. And you like Christmas, huh? I do a lot. Yeah. What yeah, well, can you tell me about this picture? I'm just going to show you some yoga. Yeah, she's doing yoga. Oh, and there's this. Uh, you know, flowers. It says fire. And I'm going to say old man. And an old man. And what does the old man th make you think of? I'm going to look up and use the uh, flowers. Yeah. And one you know, of these. And so, Keegan, when you look at this piece of art that you made, what does it make you feel about yourself? Uh, I, I, I am happy. It makes you feel happy. Yeah. And one yeah. of these. Yeah. And let's look at your other one. That's a new one. So, this is Keegan's other piece that he did. We, we did a lot of art with Miss Topaz. So what can you tell me about this one? This one just says she's, she's, she's happy. She's happy. And it's my, it's my birthday. And it reminds you of your birthday. Uh, my June. She's five. And do you remember what that says? Yeah. It says yes. joy. That's right. Which is another word for happy. I'm happy. And I know it's that power for you. Uh -huh. And I know it And do you did you like this picture because it you always feel happy most of the time right yes yeah so this picture 
I, re I remember when we were making it, we were talking about how you feel happy on the inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so this kind of re represents who you are. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah, what else can you tell me? Oh, uh, let me just uh, spell, um, let me just uh, I can eat and... Can you eat again? I, 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 I'm going to say, um, I go to M High School. You go to Colchester High School. I go, go to High School and my name is Ryan and my name is Fun and I'm I, I miss you, Miss Ryan. I miss you and yeah, you missed me the other day when I was uh, at high day. school. Too, huh? Is there anything else that you want to tell me about your art, Keeg? Are you all done? I done. You're all done. All right. Can I you am. Look? I done. All right. Wait. Let's look into that camera and say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Bye again. Alright. Peace. Uh, welcome. Uh, what is your name? And nice to meet you. My name is Brent Hobart and thanks for having me. You're, wel you're welcome. Uh, okay. Tell me about your, tell me about your art piece. So my art piece, um, so this is a fighter that I, um, done. Um, and that it represents, um, me on the inside. And I have some words in the back that is lessons of a lifetime, be kind, no mistakes. So, so the lessons of a lifetime and being kind and no mistakes represents me on the outside. So the fighter represents me on the inside just in case I need to do something or defend myself. Cool. Nice job. Who are you? I'm Riley Mills. Good to meet you. How are you too? Um, my, uh, my art piece is, is this. So I have some, I have some words. Um, from palaces to paradise, love, and the dog represents my inside, and the cheetahs represent my outside. So if I, if I react to something, I do it, and I just get it done. Um, the question I have for you, um, not too sweet, not too rich. Just like your husband, why did you pick, like, what do you think about the, uh, just like your husband detail on the uh, not too sweet, not too rich thing? That's tough. Um, I like it because it's, because it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh... Uh, that's that's it really. Cool. Uh, tell me more. So the fighter. Um, I certainly like martial arts. So it reminds me of training. In the uh, school at Mount Mansfield, you in high school. So. And I like fine movies also. So that's what represents me as this person and why if I need to I could defend myself if everything happens and that's why for me on the outside I try to be kind to people as possible so that way I can look out for people that I care about and all of that cool thank you wasn't that amazing interviews with bridging students and also our first ever student student interview on our bridging program there are two students though who have been behind the scenes and we want to hear a little shout out from each of them we've got kate um it's fun running the camera Awesome. I'm so glad you've had fun running the camera. You've done an excellent job. Let's hear from Agent K. Agent I've been, been backyard the whole time. 
Awesome. You've done a beautiful job making us look good. We did get to see you at the way beginning. So I'm going to snap my fingers so we can, everyone who wants to be back on the limelight, in the limelight, can join me. And from the Brecky group, we want to thank you very much and say goodbye. Paka! 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 Paka. <laughs>